Hello there. I got my package from Julian from France. So contained inside should be the knife. So I'm going to open that up right now and I'll give you guys a quick look and then maybe I'll give you a better look later on. But uh, you know, I noticed he even wrote Chinese on the uh, on the package. So and unfortunately they covered it with this sticker, but uh, yeah, good job, Julian. So without any further ado, Exciting times. <laughs> so we got here. Wow. Packaged really well. Uh oh. It's in here somewhere. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, I don't wanna whoa, I can see it poking through. I need a knife to get my knife. Wow, you did a great job packaging this. Okay. Okay. Smells great, man. I can smell... Man, that wood has really got a distinct smell. I've got to check again what kind of wood this is. You mentioned that. Wow. Whoa. Wow, this wood smells great. It smells like uh, cedar of Lebanon almost. Wow. Gosh, this is beautiful. So, yeah, this is just a quick look for you guys. I'm not sure how well focused in the camera is right now, so I'll... Uh, I'll turn this off and then give you a better look. Oh, just super pleased. Wow. Super sharp as well. Beautiful knife. Just look at that. Ah, thanks so much. I'm touched. Okay, so here's a close-up look of the uh, knife that Julian June made for me. And really, I'm just so, so happy with this. Uh, he, he made Originally, he made a video. It's on a Vimeo video. And it's called Blacksmith to Bladesmith and Back. So check that out. And then I, I reposted that on my YouTube, um, in one of my YouTube videos. So you might have already seen that there. So, yeah, just the feel is just wonderful. It just fits so perfectly in my hand. And it's, it's actually, it's very sharp. You know, I can, I can slice paper easily with this knife just right out of the box. And you can see here, I don't know, the lighting's not great. You can see his mark, June, right there. And, uh, you know, just some quick information is he uh, made this knife from uh, 1964 Land, Vo Land Rover Leaf Spring. So that's got a little bit of history in it. And, uh, and the handle wood is Sonoran Desert Ironwood. And initially, as soon as I opened the box, it had a smell come right out. And to me, it really smelled, you know, it smells like a, a cedar of Lebanon. I mentioned that. But, you know, when I looked online about this wood... And the thing is, it's a very, a very hard and a very heavy wood, and it's very popular for knife handles. Uh, they said, though, that this wood uh, has an unpleasant smell, but I find that to be completely opposite. You know, it's so humid in Taiwan, and having this sitting on my bench, I can smell this wood early in the morning from, you know, from a distance away, and I find it to be very pleasant. So, and even one website even said that... Uh, you know, in, in, you know, it just said worst smelling wood ever, you know, period, after every word. So I just, I just really, I don't get it. Maybe it has something to do with when you're working the wood. But, yeah, so, you know, just get a little bit more of a close-up here of the wood and the fine details. So, yeah, I just, Julian, I'm just so happy. And I really thank you for going the extra mile on this. And what I'll, I'm going to have to find a way to make it up to you. Yet again, some customer touch marks for you to look at. Uh, I almost certainly in the not too distant future will stop at least temporarily offering this service uh, as it's just become a bit of a hassle of late and I've been busy with a lot of other things. This is the customer's name in Hebrew.
I also wanted to take a second to thank two guys for recent donations to the YouTube channel. And that'd be Bruce Butcher, twice, and also Daryl Brooks. Thanks very much, guys. On paper, I didn't like the hand-drawn quality of this, but imprinted in steel, it looks different to me. It looks so much nicer. Very nice.